Hey chums, welcome to another Easy FPS Editor tutorial. I'll make this a quick one today. It's all about animated textures, like this torch here, and that torch there, and there, and in there. So basically I have this torch set up as a wall, but it's also using a custom modifier to make it flat against the wall there. So I've imported this torch as a wall, it's mostly transparent, and then you just have the torch there. And then I've placed it down like this. And then I have a custom modifier for each direction, north, south, east, and west. So it's basically just a flat square pushed against the wall. So then you can place the torch down. And then you add the custom modifier to make it flat against the wall there. And then I added a little light on top of it. And it works really well. All thanks to Pocket Money for teaching me how to do that. He's very clever. So I'll show you how to add some other animated textures now, but I won't do it in this project. I'm gonna go over to my testy test project. So the first step will be going to import resources, import textures, and you can have animated walls or animated floors. So it works for both of them. We'll do a floor first. I have this muck texture over here. I'm not sure what it is. It's just a gross muck, some kind of hazardous material that'll damage the player so you can highlight all of them and then open click accept now we have them all here but to make it animated we'll go to advanced tools texture animation configurator then we add the first texture frame muck one and then we can add the frames for it here so it'll be muck one two and so on Cool. So now this texture block will have these frames playing over and over again. Click accept. And then you can just place this down wherever. And it should work. There we go. We got some muck. Looks pretty gross. But it doesn't damage us. If you want it to damage you, you have to go to default modifiers. And then click on hazard block and then just click on top of those tiles. Now the muck should be hazardous. Ouch. See, works well. It does look a bit weird though, just being perfectly in line with the floor. So to make it look better, we can add these steps around it maybe. All around the muck. There we go, now it's some kind of pool of toxic sludge. And you can jump in. Nice. Cool. So that's an animated floor texture. But say you want a nice little waterfall on the wall there. Let's do that. So same process as before. Go back to import resources, import textures. This time it'll be a wall. And I have this waterfall here. It's very low quality. It's only 64 by 64. So hopefully you can find a better one. We can highlight all of them and open. Accept. Now we have them ready as wall tiles. Go back to advanced tools, texture animation configurator, and then we add a new texture, waterfall one. Then we can add the frames for it here. Waterfall one, two, and so on. Cool. Accept. And now you have an animated wall texture as well. I'll just test that it's working here. So keep in mind it's the whole cube that'll be animated. So every side of it's animated like that. Which isn't a problem because you can just replace the wall here with the waterfall. So let's, let's put it back here. Like that. And up here too. And there we go. Now you've got your dangerous muck. Ouch. And you got your waterfall over there. So it is acting as a wall. So you can't walk through it or anything. But if you want, you can do what I did with the torches. 
and just add that custom modifier to make it flat against the wall. But I mean, it works like this too. It's actually just easier this way. So now we have our animated waterfall there and the animated muck. And it looks decent. Not too bad. Cool. Very quick tutorial today. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have questions or if you want to see tutorials on anything else. And also subscribe if you're feeling nice. I almost have 600 subscribers, so that would be pretty cool. See you next time, dudes.